Welcome to a new business finance short problem solving lecture. We will now have a look at study problem 12-3 in page 412 from the 8th edition of our textbook. Here's a view of the problem. Let's go ahead and highlight some key facts provided in this problem. Our company will manufacture and sell 200,000 units next year and fixed costs are currently totaling $300,000 and variable costs will be 60% of sales given these facts and also the firm wanting to achieve a level of earnings before interest and taxes of $250,000 what selling price should the company charge in order to achieve its goal and then we are supposed to to verify our result by setting up an income statement okay so uh, let's have a look at briefly have a look at the income statement and what items come out of it so we have sales then we will have um, obviously variable costs deducted from our sales figure then we will get our revenue before four fixed costs and then subtracting fixed costs from that we will get our earnings before interest and taxes now we have a goal our goal here is two hundred and fifty thousand dollars we already know our fixed costs which is three hundred thousand dollars as you can imagine we can work our way backwards to figure out the revenue before fixed costs and in that case that number would be five hundred and fifty thousand dollars now working our way backward one more time um, so that's the tricky part we need to make the following assumption let's assume that sales would be x dollars right so that's the total amount of sales we know that variable costs are 60% of sales so as a result variable costs will be equal to 0 0.60 times x from here we can easily set up an equation to solve it for x x representing sales obviously so let's set up that equation so x sales dollars minus 0 0.60 times x dollars which is the variable cost here so let's again recall this is sales this is variable cost and that number should equal five hundred and fifty thousand dollars now it's quite easy to solve this problem obviously huh? so this implies that 0.40 x is actually equal to that five hundred and fifty thousand dollar figure and then we can divide both sides of our equation by 0.40 obviously the 0.40 terms will cancel out and from here we'll get that sales is equal to uh, 550,000 divided by 40 0.40 I should say is equal to 1,375,000 US dollars now this is total sales obviously in order to get a sales price a selling price for each of our items all we need to do is to divide this number by the quantity sold and which is basically 200,000 units so let me um, actually create some space here so it would be um, as I said earlier the price per unit huh, is equal to sales divided by the quantity q and from here we get that sales of one million three hundred and seventy five thousand dollars and the quantity of two hundred thousand units and finally the price comes out as six thousand this is our unit price six thousand eight hundred and seventy five dollars okay um now let's verify in the second part of this problem let's verify our uh, results so sales together we agreed would be one million three hundred and seventy five thousand dollars variable cost would be forty sixty percent actually 
uh, uh, this amount, so 60% of this amount, $1,375,000 is equal to $825,000. The difference would be equal to revenue before fixed cost. And so the difference would be 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 5, 5. And then we will have fixed costs totaling, uh, I believe, 300000 dollars it was and sure enough we will get two hundred and fifty thousand dollars as our um earnings before interest and taxes target so uh this calculation proves also that our solution in the first part and part a of the problem was actually correct and that solves our problem